Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Jessica McDonald and today I'm going to show you how to work a crochet steak reinforcement. You can see I've got a little circular swatch here and I've already worked half of my reinforcement on this side here. Steaking is when you take a circular piece of fabric and you cut it open so that it lies flat. When you're steaking, you're actually cutting your knitting, so you want to reinforce the stitches on either side of where you cut in some way. And this crochet slip stitch reinforcement is just one of many ways you can reinforce that fabric. All you need for it is a crochet hook and some scrap yarn. It's very simple, doesn't require a sewing machine, doesn't require a lot, that's why I am going to use this technique. So you can see this caramel colored yarn right here. That's where we are going to cut our steak. I put it here just for, just to make it easier to see where we're going to cut. You don't necessarily have to mark your steak like that, but you can if you want to be able to see more clearly. I've just taken a scrap piece of yarn that contrasts with my background color and just run, put a running stitch up there just just to highlight where the steak is going to be. So this crochet slip stitch reinforcement that I've already done leans away to the right. I'm gonna tip this up so you can see that. It leans away to the right. And you want your reinforcement to lean away from where you are cutting. So this one was worked from this end up and it leans away to the right. It's always gonna to lean to the right, so when we're working the other side, we need to flip our fabric over, and we need to work from the opposite end down. So one will be worked from the top down, and one will be worked from the bottom up. Just make sure that the stitches you are reinforcing are on the right-hand side of where you are going to cut. It's a pretty tidy and flat laying reinforcement as well. So, here we are, I'm gonna zoom in a fair bit so that it's easier for you to see. Yeah, I think that'll be easier to see. So you can see, here's our reinforcement already done. Here's where we're gonna cut, and we're gonna reinforce these stitches on the right side of where we are going to cut. So I take my crochet hook. Ideally, you wanna use one that's a few sizes smaller than the needle you use to work your fabric, but this is the only one I have. So we're going with it. Use yarn that contrasts with your background color so that you can, you can see it more easily. So where we're going to reinforce? We're gonna reinforce the two loops of the stitches that are immediately to the right of where we are going to cut. You might be cutting up the center of two stitches or you might be cutting up the middle of a stitch. Either way, you just make sure you look for and you grab those two loops that are immediately to the right of where you're gonna cut. So I'm gonna cut right here. I'm gonna cut up the middle of that, the stitch that's between my thumbs there. So I'm gonna shift over and I'm gonna find those two loops immediately to the right of that and that's what I'm gonna reinforce. You could either be grabbing a single column of stitches or you could be grabbing um, half of, half of a stitch from one column and half of a stitch from the other. It doesn't matter, you just grab those two loops immediately to the right of where you're gonna cut. Here we have our yarn. I'm gonna insert my crochet hook down here at the bottom and draw up a loop to get us started. This very beginning is a little bit fiddly. I'm gonna leave the tail, don't need a very long one. Then I'm going to pull up a loop and just, just I'm just coming around. This is the bound off edge or you might be working on the cast, the cast on edge, but I'm just gonna pull a strand of yarn around that to make sure that we're reinforcing that edge as well. So I've got that, I've grabbed it. I've got a single loop on my crochet hook I come back over here and I'm looking for those two loops. Remember those two loops just to the right of where I'm gonna cut. So I grab the very, very, very bottom ones. 
grab my, whoops, hang on. I don't crochet very often. Grab my yarn with my crochet hook. I'm gonna pull it through those two loops of the stitch I'm reinforcing. And then I'm also gonna take this loop I just pulled through and I'm gonna pull it through my original loop on my crochet hook. So I only have one there. Then I go up and I make sure this is focused. <laughs> then I go up and I stick my crochet hook behind the two loops again. Next stitch up. Oops, this is not focused. Make sure this is focused for you. Grab my yarn. Then I just pull it through those two. You can see here I've got three loops basically on the crochet hook. The two from the stitch I'm reinforcing and my crochet reinforcement yarn. I'm just gonna pull this new strand of yarn through all three of those at once. If I had a smaller crochet hook, it would be easier to do this. That's why, that's why a smaller hook is recommended. So I've pulled it through all three at once. And then I'm going up a step, grabbing the next one, just the two strands of the next stitch, grabbing my yarn, pulling it through all three. And here we are beginning our reinforcement. It's really simple and easy to work and it doesn't require anything more special than a crochet hook, which most of us have hanging around anyway. Oops. Pull that through. What, what am I doing? Through first. And grab my yarn. There. You can see my caramel colored yarn is in the middle of that. And this steak reinforcement that I'm working here is leaning away to the right. This one is leaning away to the left now. And so once I've finished this reinforcement, I can just cut up the center because it's reinforced on either side and I can just cut those bars in between. I'm gonna film a separate tutorial in just a second for how to cut this steak and I'll put a link to it in the description box below so you can go to that one next. <laughs>